Alright, so boom, one of my subscribers sent me this video and I am perplexed, flummoxed, flabbergasted at what it is that I'm watching. Evidently, Peruvian ladies having a battle of fisticuffs in what appears to be some form of wasteland. Evidently, they were trained by Piccolo. Here we go! <laughs> Shorty getting her ass beat at the outskirts sand. This ain't the Pokemon Coliseum I remember. Let it go. Turn away and slam the door. Two Braid Maria did not come here to play games. Beating the snot out that girl in front of the whole village. I don't even know the rules of this Coliseum-like battle. All I know is it's an annual Warmi Takanakakui Kalazada showcase. Is this their version of the Kumite? If women travel to Peru on vacation, will they have to participate in this battle? Ladies out there swinging to break each other's jaw. Are body shots illegal? Why everybody swinging for the head? My yes! We. <laughs> And what is that he's spinning? Is that a scarf to signify it's the end of a battle? Do it again. Two-piece had Shorty Moon in the crowd. Do you sign up to partake in this competition or are you obligated by birth? Cause Sam and T-shirt look like she been training her whole life for this moment. Bitch. She got some hate in her heart. Why are there children here? Got this Hispanic youth dancing in the face of violence. Ain't no different ranks or nothing. Intermediate taking on novice. Expert taking on beginner green skirt got floored in three seconds keep in mind these women come from traditional households imagine valentina waking up in the morning to prepare breakfast for her entire family only to go whip sophia's ass hours later jesus christ do onlookers have to purchase a ticket to attend or is this just part of the culture is anybody getting paid for this event somebody need to educate me in the comment section because what if this is just a routine saturday morning Beat Shorty into submission, had her on her knees. Oh, she frustrated now. I can't get over the fact that most of the women just spamming the punch button. No technique whatsoever. Just swing wherever your character indicator is locked on. Might I add, why does the official look like he part of the cartel? And what are the masks being worn by security? If you're going to cover your whole head, how do people going to know you wearing Raycons? And now a word from our sponsors. Wait a minute, the summer is coming to a close, school is back in session, the fall is upon us, so it's only right that you got Raycons in your ears. Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by making great sound for everyone. Their wireless earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands. Plus, Raycon earbuds give you 8 hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life total, plus seamless Bluetooth pairing and a more compact design for a comfortable, noise-isolating fit. And they use ear tap functions to toggle between three customizable sound profiles, noise isolation, and awareness mode. So even if you're on the go and you're listening to your favorite audio book, podcast, or music, you can always have an ear to your surroundings with their awareness mode. I've been listening to the Assiduous Podcast all summer long along with Raycons in my ears, and guess what? I'ma keep doing the same thing in the fall. So what are you waiting for? School is back in session, and that means Raycon's annual back-to-school sale is live and site-wide, 20% off plus free shipping. So do yourself a favor and click the link in my description. Go to buyraycon.com slash chism and save 20% site-wide plus free shipping only at Raycon. Let them know I sent you. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Why go to college when you can whip ass for a living? Helicopter, helicopter. Shorty got hit so hard she literally transmogrified into the Uno reverse card. Imagine gathering multiple family reunions just to watch your daughter get her ass whipped. And just when I thought only punches were permitted, they started throwing kicks. Just wait until the Peruvians find out about suplexes. Somebody's getting slammed into the upper room. Wait a minute, there's a men's division. Ah! Nearly knocked that boy chin off. Look at it in slow motion. Sneak the right hand in there. And then he flexed. Next on them, no planting for you. They should up the ante in this competition. Fight for citizenship. Loser leaves the country. Since they keep advertising the year, I would assume this is an annual thing. You mean to tell me I gotta wait 12 months to get my get back if I get my ass whipped? What if my adversary dies six months after whipping my ass? I gotta go to the grave unable to get my revenge. I'm impressed by the fact that
fact that both the women and the men do not use the guard button whatsoever. Straight offense. Clearly, their Street Fighter floppy disk has not updated yet. Hold on, why the referee got a whip? Is this foreshadowing something? Perhaps this is the best way to settle neighborhood beef. Your neighbor mistakenly opened up your mail. Take them to the wasteland. Somebody getting their ass whipped. Your daughter kicked a soccer ball through my windshield. Tell her meet me in the field. I got hands for her. The states could never put on a competition like this. It's as if it was a village-wide barbecue and all the uncles stepped in to collectively have a tournament on who's the strongest. I'm falling. I'm seeing dose. Two, two brave Marias going at it. <laughs> Two-piece almost had her doing the merengue, but look at the resolve. She ain't going nowhere. They putting their hands to work. Cardarius Tony could never. This was easily the best performance of the night and for whatever reason, the officials broke it up. This is bullshit! Sidebar, these motherfuckers break into a dance party right after the damn fighting. Two sleeveless Oscars doing battle in the field. Wait a minute, the referees got whips again. Looks like they called this fight to a stop. Dynamic! <laughs> Why'd they whip this man like this? I know interference clearly isn't warranted, but they whip this man like a disobedient child in a Caribbean household. But the craziest thing is the people with the whips not even the most dangerous. Homie on the right got a lasso. If he gets captured, he's headed to the slaughterhouse. What would you even do if you were trying to flee the scene and you saw a motherfucker swinging a lasso? Peru just jumped onto my travel list. I think I need to see these competitions up front and Personal. It truly might be their version of the Kumite. But then again, it can't be a Kumite unless somebody gets hit so hard they're headed to the Shadow Realm. Finish him! Come here! Brutality. Wait a minute, did he just kill that man? Man's laying there lifeless. Here I thought this was a tournament of respect. They gotta drag this man into the cemetery. But he must have been a contract killer. Hit him with a right hand and booted him twice in the face. If there was ever a person who deserves the lasso, it's him. This man must have been playing Twister but kept putting his body parts on the same circle. Right hand on face, left foot on face, right foot on face. I would have said he got knocked out from the east to the west, but he don't know where the hell he is. <laughs> Took that man out in front of his family, left him laying there lifeless like Sonny Corleone. Grab the heart-shaped herb, take him to the Pokemon Center. He needs a monster reborn. Call a medic, somebody, please. Call a goddamn EMT. Finish him. Die! Ah! 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 Snake, are you okay? Snake? Where the ambulance? Why the man body still the right man there? Supposed to be Call the there. damn ambulance! And welcome to your first day in the afterlife. You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button! And become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the Shadow Realm. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Please! Please! What are you waiting for, huh? Oh my gosh.